Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Slingerland, and today we're gonna to go over how to factor trinomials. The first skill you need to factor trinomials is something called multiply and combine. So you're looking for two numbers that multiply to a certain number, but also add to a certain number. So the first example I have for you is two numbers that multiply to six, but add to five. So the first step in doing that is to list your factors of six. Factors of six are one and six and two and three. So now you need which two sets of factors or which two numbers add to five. So one times six is six, but one plus six is not five. Two times three is six, two plus three is five. So they multiply to six, but add to five. Find two numbers that multiply to 14, but add to nine. First step is to list your factors of 14. It's one and 14, and it's two and seven. So now we want which pair adds to nine. 1 plus 14 is 15, 2 plus 7 is 9. 2 and 7 are the numbers I, were lo I was looking for. Find two numbers that multiply to 10, but add to 11. Start by finding your factors of 10. 1 and 10, 2 and 5. 1 plus 10 is 11, 2 plus 5 is 7. 1 and 10 are the two numbers that I was looking for. Find two numbers that multiply to negative 32 and add to 4. So let's start with 32, okay? And let's list the factors. It's 1 and 32, 2 and 16, 4, and eight. So now I need a combination of those that when I add them, I would get a positive four. Well, if I do negative one and 32 or negative 32 and one, that's not gonna work. Negative two and 16, negative 16 and two, that's not gonna work. Four and eight. If I do negative four and positive eight, that is going to give me positive four. So negative four and eight are the two numbers that I was looking for. Find two numbers that multiply to positive 30 but add to negative 17. So we're gonna list our factors of 30 again. One and 30, two and 15, three and 10, five and six. So we want them to multiply to a positive 30, but add to a negative 17. So if I'm multiplying and I have a positive number, it means either both of my numbers were both positive or both of my numbers were both negative. Since when I'm adding, I'm getting negative, both of my numbers are gonna have to be negative. So now I need a combination that when I add them together, I get negative 17. There's only one combination that's gonna work here and it's gonna be negative two and negative 15. Let's think back to what a trinomial was. Okay. You learned about polynomials in the first section of this class. So a trinomial is something that has three parts to it or three terms with a high degree of two. So that means that you have some kind of squared term. We're gonna learn how to factor these trinomials or get them back to two binomials. We're gonna first start for when this leading coefficient or a is equal to the number one. Okay, so we're gonna do something called multiplying a times c to combine to b. A times C combined to B. So what 
factors of a times c, or 1 times 12, can add together to get 7. So let's list our factors of 12. We've got 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. So the combination that would add to 7 is 3 and 4. So I know that one of my factors is x plus 3, one of my factors is x plus 4. Okay. Example 2. We're going to do a times c to combine to b. 1 times negative 24 is negative 24, and we want the factors of negative 24 to add to positive 2. So we're going to list all of our factors of 24, 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 6 and 4. Now because we have a negative number, I know that one of my numbers has to be negative and one of them has to be positive. And when I add them together, I need a positive 2. Well, 1 and 24 isn't going to give me that. Neither is 2 and 12. Neither is 3 and 8. But 6 and 4 will. So when I add them together, I need to get a smaller number and it needs to be positive, which means that the bigger number needs to be positive and the smaller number needs to be negative. So my answer is going to be x plus 6, x minus 4. What about when a is not 1 or the leading coefficient is not 1? Okay. We're still going to use this AC method of factoring. There's just going to be a few more steps to it. Okay. So we're still going to do a times c and then list factors to multiply to b. So I have a times c, and I still want them to co be combined to b. So 2 times negative 15 gives me negative 30, and I want factors of negative 30 to multiply to 7. Or, sorry, to add to 7. Factors of 30 that add to 7. Multiply a times c, combine to b. Okay. So I'm going to list my factors of 30, 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 5 and 6. So I'm looking for a combination where one of those numbers is going to be negative, and when I add them together, I get positive 7. The only combination that's going to work is going to be 3 and 10. And since I want the answer to be positive, 3 is going to be negative and 10 plus negative 3 gives me 7. So 10 and negative 3 are my numbers. Okay, so negative 3 and 10 are my numbers. So now we're going to do something so that we can factor by grouping. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the first and the last part of the expression. So 2x squared stays and minus 15 stays, okay? But instead of 7x, I'm going to write negative 3x plus 10x. So all we did is we multiplied a times c, got negative 30, found the factors of negative 30 that add to, neg that add to positive 7, and then we rewrite positive 7 as those two factors we found. Now we can split this and we can find a GCF. So I'm looking at 2x squared and negative 3x, and I say, what do they have in common? What GCF can I take out? They have an x in common. So I'm going to take 1x out. When I divide both parts by x, I'm left with 2x minus 3. What do 10x and 15 have in common? They can both be divided by 5. So I take out a 5, and I'm left with 2x minus 3. When I do this, I should see that one of the center parentheses, or what's in the parentheses, matches. 2x minus 3 is one of my factors. 
How do I find the other factor? It's what's on the outside of the parentheses, x plus 5. three x squared minus 10 x plus eight. We're going to do a times c and figure out what factors of that number combine to b. Three times eight is 24. B is negative 10. So I'm going to list all my factors of 24. I've got one and 24, two and 12, three and eight, four, and six. So now I need a combination of those that when I multiply them together, I get a positive 24, but when I add them, I get a negative 10. Well, to have these negative numbers for B, but a positive when I multiply, it means both of the numbers would have to be negative. That means no matter what group I pick, they're both gonna be negative. So now I just need to find the pair that adds to 10 and it's gonna be negative four and negative six. So now that I found my two numbers, negative four and negative six, I can rewrite my expression. The first part is gonna stay the same, three x squared. The last part is gonna stay the same, plus eight. But instead of writing negative 10 x, I'm writing negative four x, negative six x. I'm gonna split this in half, and now I'm gonna take out the GCF. So three X squared and negative four X, they have an X in common. So the X goes on the outside of the parentheses and what's left over is three X minus four. Negative six X and positive eight. I don't like that negative in the front, so I'm gonna take that out. And then they can both be divided by two. So I'm gonna take the two out. And what I'm left with is 3x minus 4. What's inside the parentheses has to match. That's my first factor. My second factor is what's left on the outside of the parentheses. Okay, I will see you in class and I will answer any of your questions from the homework.